Israel, what you got? So I didn't touch his foot, but I went to go and pray for his foot, and I put my hand next to it like this, like by Evie's foot, and I started to pray. And then I said, does it hurt? And he fiddled around a bit and said, yeah, it still hurts. So I said, well, I saw that he was touching one bit, and I said, oh, I must have been praying in the wrong bit because that, because I wasn't praying for that bit. So I prayed again, and as I prayed again, this big pulse came out of his foot, like a heartbeat but in his foot, which is a bit weird. So it was like, boom, like that. And I went, oh, did you see that? He didn't see it, but he felt his foot beating. So I prayed again, and exactly the same thing happened, only I think it was even bigger, and it came right out. And then the people I was with saw it as well. And then I said, is your foot any better? And he said, no. So I said, well, God is doing something with your foot. I don't know what it is, but something weird is happening to your feet. And then we prayed for a, a few other people, and suddenly this boy goes, my foot feels better. And he was so pleased because he's hurt his foot. And so it just took a little bit longer. And also, we prayed for a, for a guy who had hay fever. And it was a bit difficult to test if he'd, if he'd still got hay fever. But two days later, I heard that he no longer has hay fever. Isn't that good? He praised.